Hey guys, this is Matt with 4hydroponics.com and today I'm going to be walking you through how to calibrate a Blue Lab pH meter. The one I'm going to be using for this demonstration is the Blue Lab soil pH pen. Um, you also got to have your 7.0 and your 4.0 calibration solution. I do recommend using theirs. And you also have to make sure your probe is clean. So if you need to clean your probe, I recommend getting their cleaning system. It's got a soft bristle toothbrush and some actual probe cleaner. If you don't have that around, go ahead and just use a soft bristle toothbrush and some lukewarm water. Um, once you've got your probe cleaned and turned on, we're going to go ahead and stick it into our uh, 7.0 solution. And uh, give it a little swish and go ahead and wait for it to stop moving around. Um, don't jump the gun here. Um, give it the time it needs to stop moving. And then once it's stopped moving, we're going to go ahead and uh, press and hold cal. So and, uh, give it a second. And once it says cal, just a couple seconds later, it'll read 7.0. And there you go, 7.0. And then we're going to go ahead and rinse it off in our water. Um, the tap water or bottled spring water, don't use RO water for this. And don't store it in RO water. Um, then we'll go ahead and repeat the process in the 4.0. Stick it in the 4.0 solution, give it a little swish, and wait for it to stabilize. Once again, don't get anxious here. And press the button too early or you won't get a good calibration. All right, once it's stopped moving around, same thing. Go ahead and press and hold cal. It's going to read cal, and then give it an extra couple seconds, and it'll read 4.0. And this little check mark will pop up on here. Um, until that check mark goes away, you'll be getting accurate readings, and that's also letting you know that you've had a successful calibration. Um, keep the probe clean, store it in either tap water, spring water, or their storage solution, which is right here. And then uh, same process for all of these pH pens and probes. I hope this video helped you out. You can get all this stuff at 4hydroponics.com. Come check us out.